Now that we have deployed our smart contract, let's go ahead and establish connection to the MetaMask wallet and create an object using the Web3 library to interact with the deployed smart contract. So to do that, first we need to download the client version of Web3.js library. So to do that, create a new file in the JavaScript folder named web3.min.js. Go to the CDN repo for Web3.js. Copy all the contents from here, paste over here and save. Next, we are going to define the connect to MetaMask function on the on click of login button. To do that, we'll create another JavaScript file. Let's name it app.js. And let's import both of those to the index.html so that we don't forget that. Then inside the app.js, we will define the connect to MetaMask function. For that, we will be using the object provided by MetaMask known as Ethereum and the enable method inside that. And this is an asynchronous call. So we'll use the promise method to handle this. And then we'll just log out the result. Next, inside the document ready function, we are going to connect Web3 to the MetaMask wallet. So using the Web3 library object and passing in the Ethereum object, we will create a Web3 object which is connected to the MetaMask wallet and we will just log it out. Next, we will create a variable to hold the contract address and paste the contract address of the deployed smart contract. Then next, we will create another variable to hold the contract ABA and paste in the ABA for the deployed contract. Next, we will create my contract object using which we can interact with the smart contract and that can be done using the method web3.eth.contracts and by passing in the contract ABA and the contract address. And we will also log it out. Now let's run this application to figure out if, it, if everything is working fine. So first install the dependencies, npm install. It will take a little bit of time and you can see the node module folder created over here. It is finished. Let's start the project using the command npm start. So let's check the log. You can see the connection object and the contract object. Let's try to establish connection to the MetaMask wallet by logging into the MetaMask wallet. Click on login. It is asking for the permission to this particular account address. So let's grant that. And if you check the MetaMask, you can see we are connected to the localhost 3000. That's how you establish connection to the MetaMask wallet and create a smart contract object to interact with the smart contract.